Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. Boy, we have some heavy rain on the way later today, tonight, and into early Wednesday. Could even see a couple strong storms in parts of the Carolinas. So let's dive right into this complex setup because as you can see, I got the radar, the satellite, and I've got the cold front, warm front, low pressure systems all turned on here. Couple things to note. This is the system we're watching right here. Big warm front about to cross over our area right now. If you've been outside today, you might notice that a lot of uh, things are sweating or there's condensation and everything. That's because everything's cold. The concrete, pavement, even your windows, your house. And as this warm, humid air moves in, it just condenses, just like fogging up the mirror in your bathroom, right? In this case, it's not steam from the shower. It's steam and warm air coming from the south, which is steaming everything up. So you're seeing a lot of condensation out there. Even when it's not raining, everything looks damp. So that warm front is bringing in some humid air. It's also bringing in this big cluster of showers. And yes, thunderstorms embedded in there. We will see some thunder, likely. I'm going to quickly just turn on the dew point temperatures just to kind of show you this. Uh, we'll turn it off, and you can see... The greens are the higher dew points. So notice that really humid air is surging to the north with that warm front and should be here later this afternoon and this evening. So you might notice temperatures going up and it feeling kind of sticky. Now, first thing we'll look at is we'll look at the severe weather outlook real quickly just to show you um, what it looks like today. And you can see today, you see the area in yellow. This is the area we're watching right now for today. That's where the severe weather is likely today into early tonight. I'm gonna turn the radar off just for a second. And then we'll go into tomorrow's severe weather outlook. You can see that shift to the coast. And I really think eastern North Carolina, and I was looking at this this morning, there's a corridor right here where there's probably going to be some potential for a couple isolated tornadoes. So certainly something we're going to have to keep a close eye on. So that's the severe weather outlook, but there's also the risk for um, some flash flooding out there. So we've got the excessive rainfall outlook. So this is the threat for flooding. Notice it's low, but there's also this area of medium, which stretches up into the Charlotte area. So that area of yellow or orange you see, that's where there's a medium risk for flash flooding. Tomorrow, that risk will shift off to the Northeast. So you gotta get the idea, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, there'll be a corridor of heavy rain right about there as this pushes up from the South. This is really what we call high precipitable water, which is basically the amount of moisture in the atmosphere is really thick and it's really deep that'll be traveling to the north so let's show you the timing of all this all right so we're going to dive right into our future cast high res rat, rapid refresh setup here so you can see the setup going into this afternoon notice this big area of rain and this is by about about 3 30. so most of the day there will be scattered showers today but the real action is this evening into the overnight hours when the heavy rain moves in so you can see right around five o'clock we start to see some really heavy rain move into the western carolinas and at times this is going to be coming down maybe an inch, inch and a half per hour. Could see isolated two inch per hour amounts. So this time of year, and I've said this a lot on air the last couple of days, um, wintertime heavy rain tends to cause flooding much quicker because of um, the fact that it have, we have more runoff. And what I mean by that is all the vegetation right now is dormant. Your grass is dormant. The trees are dormant. Your plants, nothing is using this moisture. So it tends to run off much quicker and we have less evaporation, lower sun angle, colder temperatures. All that contributes to just the runoff being more exaggerated. Then you throw in the fact that we've got all these leaves, right, clogging storm drains. You tend to see a lot more flooding on roadways this time of year. So just a heads up. And by the way, this water is going to sit in your yard for days because um, even when we're in a drought, sometimes we say, my yard's all muddy. Well, in the wintertime when we have a drought, nothing is pulling water out of your soil like grasses. Grass will use a ton of moisture. Plants use an inch of rain per week just re on regular growth. So when nothing's growing, there's nothing using that moisture in the soil. So it just kind of sits there. So you can see tonight, I say that all because this rain will cause some issues. I think we will see some flash flooding, at least on roadways, and maybe some creeks and streams will come up pretty quickly, especially if we get in these what we call training bands where the same area gets hit again and again. You can see um, this is through the evening hours into the overnight. Some of this is really heavy. Then there's a second surge of moisture right here with the front early tomorrow morning. This is the main cold front moving through. And you know it's the cold front because on the backside we do have some wintry weather moving into the mountains and foothills. That'll be with us through about midday tomorrow. So think about basically 6, 6 p.m. tonight through about noon tomorrow, we're gonna have the potential for some heavy rain and then the cold air moves in. So how much you know precipitation are we talking about? Let's quickly look at this moving in. This is the blend of models, kind of shows you that heavy rain moving in tonight moves right across the area. I'm gonna stop this as we go into Wednesday evening. And you can see there is a pretty good swath of one to three inches of rain. So that's the blend of models. We look at the Weather Prediction Center's outlook. It kind of shows a very similar track. I'll go out 72 hours here. We'll stop it right here. 
about one to two inches of rain. So again, one to two inches of rain this time of year, December, tends to cause some issues. So just a heads up, I do anticipate at some point, I'll loop this a couple times, we are going to see some minor flooding issues out there. So that's why we want you to stay weather aware tonight into tomorrow. And of course, in the mountains, this might be some of the heaviest rain, especially on the eastern facing slopes we have seen since Helene. So just be very cautious. There will be rapid runoff in creeks and streams and um, you know basins that just have been changed a lot since Helene. So we don't know exactly how some of this water is going to move. So it might be just very cautious to be if you're you know, camping or temporary housing anywhere near a creek or stream, I would definitely be cautious and maybe head to higher ground this evening and tonight. And of course, I will keep you updated on any watches or warnings that are issued right now or under a medium risk for flash flooding.